<laughs> Hello, how's it going everybody? Rudolph Versity here, man. We're back with another video. Uh, we're trying to see, hopefully we have time for, uh, hopefully we have time for, uh, we have, I have about 21 minutes of, uh, to play right here. And we will jump straight into it. Uh, not really much to explain here, man. We're using our same Garchomp Arcanine deck. This deck's been doing really, really nicely. I, I, I don't like that I keep using it because it's getting kind of stale content-wise. Maybe not stale. I don't know. If you guys are enjoying it, I am enjoying it. I, I, this deck's doing really, performing really well. Hopefully, you guys are learning something from me play this deck. Uh, um, it, it, it has been performing really nicely, so I haven't had much complaints. Okay, looks like an ancient deck. That's good to see. So this Arcanine is actually very important here. And hopefully we don't have any issues setting it up. Okay, good, perfect to switch. I was trying to say, the only issue here is kind of getting Arcanine out of here. Like, getting him out of the start. Okay, and that's even better. The only bad thing here is... Oof. There it is. Perfect. Love to see that. All right, so we are pretty much set next turn here. Yep, everything we need here, so we're set. We'll even um we'll even Greninja next turn again to kind of to see what else we can pull out here, but So we we're pretty good here though. Okay, good to see. I, I really hate this. This eerie card is really dangerous for us. Luckily, if he did play it, it wouldn't have been too well. If he threw our that card is so annoying. And that card made me quit one match immediately because I was I was finna sit. I had I had a rare candy and Pidgeot in my hand to go, and then he used that card, and it, it is crazy a annoying. So let's see here. Okay, perfect. Love to see that, and we already... So, with that being said, now that we have the rare candy, we had options, but now we can just use... We can just grab a feather ball out here. Uh, we don't need the other guard chomp just yet, so... So, Pidgeot. And then we get the other rare candy from uh, Pidgeot's ability. So, we want Pidgeot first. Switch up here. We're gonna go ahead and get uh, Ryulu down this turn. <laughs> this wasn't the deck I was expecting. One annoying thing here that we're gonna have to try to work around next turn is getting rid of that great uh, tusk. I meant that I did not mean to put those on Arcanine, but it's fine. That great tusk is gonna be kind of annoying. Which I should have, I should have tried to, I should have in some form or fashion tried to target it. I should have, instead of I should have just used this Ultra Ball last turn, maybe, and got rid maybe got rid of vacuum and mana feed. That would have been probably helpful. I 
Oh, never mind. Yeah, good. Good thing we still got the vacuum. <laughs> we don't. We want to. We want to just go ahead and one shot them here. I want to Iuna him badly here, but it's not, I don't even think it's going to make a difference for us. Yeah. So, yeah. That's not, we don't care. I don't see anyone. Oof. We did lose quite a bit of energy there. That is... Now that's kind of annoying a little bit, the loss of energy, how much energy we lost there. Um, but. One thing I'm kind of, I'm kind of cautious on this right here, and I kind of want to build up some more. I definitely want to make sure we, cause did we? No, we didn't. Lose, I don't want to lose any rare candies here. I don't think, I don't think this deck runs the evolution at all. But just in case it does, we want to kind of be prepared for that. And also, not only be prepared for that, we don't want this to get discarded in his uh his attack landslide land collapse. So. Yeah, last turn I if we lose here is cause if we lose just barely, it's cause that first turn I should have been way more cautious of this great tusk. I should have definitely been more cautious. Oh, you know what else I need to pull out? If he, if we lose our other Ayuno, we're actually in pretty bad shape here. So, okay. See, there's one. There's one of the rare candies. That's that's another big reason. Okay, good. We got our super rod. I'm I'm trying to go ahead and pull out some things we're gonna desperately need. We need to get our other Ayuno because if we can wait, if we can hold our hand to late game, perfect for us there. Um, Yep, and we got the super rod. We're kind of in really good shape here. One annoying thing is he does have Eerie though. So, uh, if that, what's that's the name of that car, right? Eerie. Uh, that that could be annoying to see come out. Honestly, uh, but we really don't need our. We really don't like. We're set up. This deck doesn't attack. Okay, that's fine. One thing too, we kind of want to be conservative on energy here. 
I don't we don't we don't need mana fee in any form or fashion. I do want to go ahead and pull out some energy for a few reasons here. One, to be kind of deceptive on my account. And two, I think we probably should have went ahead and threw one of those energies on uh on uh Lucario here. We're saving our Uno uh, to kind of save us the final turn. Because if we can get down to... Look at our hand size. If we shuffle our hand here... Isn't there isn't there a trainer card that gets rid of other trainer cards? I could be wrong about that. Am I wrong about that? Is there a trainer card that gets rid of other trainer cards? Or no? Is anyone knowing that? I'm trying to think who else I want to pull out here. I guess if we, we can probably pull out, pull out another... Uh, what the heck does this do? Oh, wow. Do we still have boss orders or do we lose them all? Looks like looks like they're all sitting in the thing, so. Yeah, let, let's let's do the safe play here though. I'm a, I'm gonna play a safe here for. I'm gonna play a safe here. Yes, I know we have energy sitting. Cause then we can just uh we can just escape next turn. And so here here's the beauty of the, oh and there's our other boss order. So we we essentially won here no matter what. But one thing the I I just don't want to make any mistakes on my energy. If I retreat here with Arcanine, I'm just kind of skeptical on how much energy we have left, and I don't want to, I don't want to necessarily lose Arcanine just yet. Yeah, so I, I played that deck before. It has, man, there's been times I've definitely played it, and it's done really well at its job of being very, um, like just very, 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 very. Like if you cannot take those tusks out quick enough, so one they're running four of them, and and and, and they're gonna have to run some other stuff too. I think the biggest thing that that deck just doesn't work that well from is because of the fact that you have to, you have to, you 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 like almost have to play. You're gonna play one of your ancient cards every turn, but the thing is when you're playing them is you almost have to play to play energy because unless you set up really nicely the turn before he had a few other trainer cards in there that can be very useful if he can if he can counter catch you the beauty i think the most beautiful thing of that deck is the fact that you have you can remove the card so you play if you can set up if you can start setting up nicely you can trap them you can truly trap them i think with that deck you can play you can you 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 play that airy card. You play that airy card. Take away their um ability to switch out. You take away their ability to switch out. Then you pull um like a a heavy card. Like our like our, he he would have counter cast our Arcanine V had we not already threw a bunch of energy on it. And then we would have been stuck. Like we would have been dead for like four turns had he had he done that and then discarded like both of our switches in one turn. We would have been able to do nothing for four turns if he managed to pull something like that off. Had we played Arcanine V and we had unluckily had both of our switches in our hand and he discarded both of them, we would have been sitting ducks in that spot until we put four energy on him. So that's the only negative. You got to be really cautious. 
gotta really just like it's it's no also guys with this Arcanine V deck you gotta be really really cautious on your energy um usage like I mean not you got playing him you gotta be really cautious on when when you play him because if you play him too early oh we luckily are winning our coin coin, coin tosses today if you play him early, he can get easily sniped for two, and that can be detrimental. So I usually don't play him because guess what? You can play him at any turn, and he's going to do his job. So you don't necessarily have to, um, per se, uh, hit him hit him early. Okay, so I am debating here. We got to see what our next card is. I think we're definitely going to try to shoot for Greninja here. One thing I w I'm interested to see if we can, if we can pull out something useful here. Okay, there's a PG. That's good. We should get one more draw. Oh, it's a chain. Okay. Oh, perfect hand. I can't really ask for a better hand than that because then next turn we can just. Give me, get, please be in here. Okay, thank you, Greninja. Oh, wait, do we really need Greninja, though? Yeah, now I just thought about it. If we're going to Professor next turn, we got our, we got a pretty much set up. Yeah, that might have not been the best play there. Ooh, that may have not been the best play there. Yeah, we should have probably, you know, we should just probably, we should just probably waited on that Ultra Ball and pulled out Greninja. I think that would have been a nicer play there, actually. I think I'm debating now what we should do next turn. So we know he's going to get out the free, frig, frig Bix, right? Is that how you say it? Oh, he went for Greninja here. Oh, he got the Buddy Poofin. Okay, that's fine. I wonder. I wonder if you're sitting on. Uh, I wonder if he. Well, I. I wonder if he has a B bro in the back. Either way, he he has Greninja now, so he has a draw engine. All right. Hopefully, we need another guard chomp. Okay, solid hand. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. Switch. Okay, switch is nice. I don't think I does I don't think we need Arcanine here. I don't think we need Arcanine in this. So we're gonna do something a little cheeky here. Shoot. What the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm so distracted that I pu I was supposed to pull out Pidgeot there. Great. Great mistake there. <laughs> Great. 
great mistake there. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too costly. God dang it. I put out the wrong. I was so focused on the Lucario play. Ah, I hate when I make those mi these mental mistakes like that. Like you, I, I sometimes play this game so much, I'll make a mental mistake like that. And then it just costs me the game. This game's one of those games like like one mistake, especially where I'm at now, one mistake is so costly. Okay. Okay, perfect. Cause I, I was like, I need the, I need to draw so badly here, but I can't afford to draw right now. All right, so here we at least can take out that play. Okay, saved by the bell here. I think the Lord, we got something to go here. All right, T. Oh nope, not what we need. We need the feather ball. You know, I'm not even going to play them this turn. If he Ayunas us, that's fine. I don't think this deck ever runs Ayuna anyway. But I, I, I'm i kind of scared of an Iron Hand right now, to be honest with you. So we're not even going to make that play. We're just going to Oko him. Right, we have enough, right? Yeah, so you, you do four is more than enough for you. Oh, good, and we get the... Nah, that's not going to help us this turn, though. Okay, good. He doesn't Ayuna us or anything like that, which is great. We can kind of just go straight into it here. I'm interested in what he pulls out. I'm assuming he pulls out a great ball. My assumption here, a great ball. Yeah, that's what I figured. I guess he's fishing for his, uh, I guess he's fishing for an, uh, a electric energy is my assumption here. But even then, it's not, I don't think that's enough here. So I actually don't know what his plan is here. Even, yeah. Oh, no. Why would you do that, sir? Oh, he's trying to pull it right back out. That's all. Do will you have enough here to do it? This is why I didn't. This is exactly why I didn't put PG out just yet. I'm very cautious here of uh of this here. Yep. Okay. Good. 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 Big mistake. You can go ahead, go ahead. We don't care. Well, actually we do. There is there is one slight issue here. And this is why we're gonna play. So here, look, this is what we're gonna do. One grand issue is if we don't have a Lucario. Okay, good. We have Lucario. Perfect. 
I was like, I'm scared. I'm skeptical if we don't have another Lucario sitting in the back. We're screwed. How much energy do we have to? I think we have one more, right? I know I saw one. Okay, good. I'd say I, if we don't have one, then the play's dead. Oh, we could have also counter cast here, but it's fine. Uh, I said I could Ayuna here. It won't matter though. So, he has he has Bidoof. We have Mana Fee. He can't two us. He can't hit our bench. This is what I was I was cautious of. So he, yeah. Okay, perfect. In this turn, yeah, we're really we're really set up here too. I think if we can take bat, if he hits us here, that's fine because we can take out Bascalibur next turn. If he cannot get another, what you call it down, he's done for. I wonder why did he pull out Bascalibur there? Was that just like the only water type he had in the thing? Come on, come on, make the mistake. Oh, you know what? And another thing. <laughs> no. Oh, he could counter catch us here. Does he? He could. I think he can one. He can one shot our. He can one shot Pidgeot. That would suck. That would suck bad. Well, if he does that, then we take out. Yeah, I don't know what we do then. I guess if he does that, then we would Ayuna. We would we would counter catch I his beep doof and Ayuna here. That would be our play. To avoid. But then he can hit us again. Ugh, I think right. No. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting it's getting to that time, man. It's getting to that time. No, don't play him. If you play him, we're screwed. Do you play him down? The only thing we have to do is stop him from being able to play energy next turn. That's it. Everything else is super scary right now. Okay, good. Thank goodness. He messed up. Wait, how much how much are you dealing right now? You had to give up two there, right? So he only has four. Four. So next turn he can only hit for what? Wait, we we do have raw rare candies, right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, I was like, we still got rare candies in the back of my. Am I, I'm not tripping on that, am I? Oh no, we really don't need you, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. We have no way to one shot you, so. This is our only clause for a win here. And then next turn we have this prime catcher to just kind of seal up the game. So he has no way of he has no way of winning here. Even if he if he hits our bench, who cares? I don't think how much is four. What's four times 60? One, that's 240. He can't take out Pidgeot here unless by some stretch of the imagination he has that max belt. I don't think he would be carrying that max belt. But if he had that max belt plus a counter catch, then we would be toast. But uh, the chances of that are slim to none. So having all of that in his hand are slim to none. So I think I think this is a dub here. for us and at the end of it probably just wasn't expecting a big bulky gore chomp i don't know i mean he could have easily saw we discarded one the very first play so if he didn't know what guard chomp did or does then he could have seen it there for sure and also we can just simply hit his hit his bench here honestly for uh for the win here 
Oh, what's that dude? What the heck does that do? Oh, good. Woo, I think I think that lets him. Uh, I forget what that does. Yeah, yeah, this car is crazy good, actually. You know, ooh. Oh, yeah, okay, we're not worried about that. So that's sketchy. That's sketchy. Yeah, we did our work early there. I was patient with Pidgeot. Luckily, he didn't Iuna us or anything crazy. Um, Good game, man, good game. That's a crazy play right there. And that's and this is the beauty. Another thing Arcanine V is like in that situation, I think a lot of times you 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 run into a situation like that. With Garchomp, you have to play energy. You have to play energy. And when in a situation like that where I'm just kind of throwing out energy, um, I intentionally was throwing it out so that if the if needed we could just play uh, Arcanine V. Obviously, had that been mid game, that would have been a perfect to load up Pidgeot for Arcanine V, and then we could have took out a, a Pao Ching in one hit um, with Arcanine V. So that would have been also another good play had that been like if we weren't already at the end of that round there. So very good gameplay here. Hold on. Yeah, th this deck. His potential is really insane. Like th that's why I added the vacuum card. Um, that vacuum. It's been so many times. I'm like, God dang it, dang it. Um, when you have Pidgeot, when you're running a deck with Pidgeot, you. That's what makes the deck unbeatable. A lot of times, is if you're running a deck that gets set up really easy and Pidgeot's in it, it can do a lot of the other work. So a lot of times is if we only have one rare candy. And we only have like an Ultra Ball or a Feather Ball. We're gonna play Pidgeot because with that alone, we can get Irida out. Long, uh, as long as we got Irida and another Energy, we're ready to start hitting them for 160, uh, which is really high. Especially when you think about back in the day, hitting for that much damage back in the day was like unheard of because well, it was heard of, but you needed like a stage, you needed like what a stage three right you needed a stage three and they needed like three or four energy on them to hit for like that much damage so it's very <laughs> back there's like i'm talking about like back in like the dirt, late 90s like decks so hold on see so yeah, i find it really interesting nowadays um with the decks now uh, so when it been one <laughs> when 160 is not that hard hitting either nowadays. So remember back in some of the older stage three cards used to only have like 120 health, which some of them now still do. Um, I remember that um, I remember there was this uh, I was playing this t that Tentacruel deck, um, to the Total Cruel I think uh, it was called because it was the grass it was the grass version, and I had Torterra I think Torterra. When I was running that deck, Torturo had, um, he was hitting, well, I can't remember, I can't remember how much damage he was, I mean, how much health he had, but it's, he was stage three, stage three, we really liked him for his grotto form, because when he was a grotto, he could pull out any grass type from your deck, so, so you could basically pull out, like, any, any other Pokemon you needed, so he was really helpful in his second form, 
until we needed him for his third form, which whenever we needed his third form, then he could just attack it in a moment's notice. So that deck, that deck was really fun, but it took so much setup. It took three, it took four Pokemon to get set up. And that I learned <laughs> is not ideal. And funny enough, even once you had everyone set up, it was no guarantee you were one-shotting everything, especially, well, you were definitely when Charizard was running loose because Charizard was double affected. Um, but if we could go back to that roaring, that soaring moon and uh, roaring moon, roaring or soaring moon, can't remember exactly, and Charizard era, he was he was easily just like really great in the deck, just simply, um, he was just great simply just existing because uh, uh, he would he would just if he could attack he would pretty much knock out a Charizard, fully healthy or not so. Really, really good time to uh, be to be a TCG player. But anyways, I will get one more in. I am currently switching. I was um, just left. I was waiting. I just left. I'm I'm uh, just talking now because I'm driving at the moment. So, but I was waiting around during our first two games. That's why I, said I only had 21 minutes. But I ended up finishing that second game real quick just because I knew it was gonna be a little bit of uh, I. It, I didn't want to pause it. <laughs> it was it was getting good, and when I pause it, I make mental mistakes. Mental errors come up every time I pause the uh, the game. So I was like, let me. Every time I'm like, if I start moving and doing other stuff, I make mental errors. I remember yesterday I lost a game from one mental error, and we also almost lost today from that not getting Pidgeot out. But turns out that actually was one of the better plays of our lives because we were able to. Uh, we were able to avoid getting sniped. It had but wait a minute. When he when he brought out his iron hands that one game, I can did he counter catch us the turn before or not? I can't remember. Anyways, I've learned be very careful around them iron hand decks which are Pidgeot because he can he can amp you very much you amp you very much you for one in one turn and then get a get get three off of you so that pretty much like you're you're really set you're really bad there unless you're already like you're already up quite a bit by that point so oh sorry so. all right everybody uh that's all i got for you uh, i was gonna try to get another one in but i think we'll end it here hope you guys did enjoy this man oh also if you're one of my if you watch these videos consecutively and you really enjoy them, I appreciate the support and I appreciate you. So thank you for that. If you are one of those followers that love these videos and watch them, it's every time they drop. So I appreciate you guys. If you just enjoyed this series, please let me know in the comments so I can keep going with this deck. But I'm, I'm going to definitely keep going at least two weeks with this, two more weeks. When a new season drops, I think we'll switch it up, try to pick something new. I was really enjoying that Gengar deck for a little bit, but it just fell off. It just... It was just struggling and ready to get going. I don't know. It just didn't work all the time. Um, but, yeah, anyways, hope you guys have been enjoying this deck. It has been really strong, and we've been really climbing the ladder pretty easy. We literally only lose from, like, simple mistakes. We really just need to start taking our time. Um, but other than that, yeah, simple mistakes is what's killing us here. So, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this, man. Real diversity. We are out. Peace.